As of January 29th, 2016, Duke Nukem 3D is 20 years old. 3D Realms released the MS-DOS shareware version that day in 1996, and man, nothing could have prepared me for it. I genuinely struggled to put into words the full effect it had on my gaming preferences, my creativity, and even my personality. The moment I saw this box in stores in 96, I was blown away. The embossed artwork was superb, the screenshots looked better than anything I'd ever seen, and dang it, it was Duke Nukem. The original Duke Nukem in 1991 was one of the first games I'd ever played, shortly after being introduced to Crystal Caves and Commander Keen Goodbye Galaxy. Then my Uncle Mark got me Duke Nukem 2 for Christmas a couple years later, and it enthralled me even more with its awesome music and vibrant graphics. Then 1996 rolled around and there I was, standing in a software etc. store at the local mall, holding this box in my hands, drooling over a 3D game featuring one of my favorite 2D characters. There was one problem. I was 10 years old and it was rated for mature audiences only, and my parents rightfully said no to buying it. So I ended up buying the Need for Speed Special Edition instead, leaving Duke to rest in the back of my mind as I happily filled my days with speeding Dodge Vipers. That is, until the summer of 1998. A friend of mine had a copy of Duke 3D that was acquired through, uh, less than legitimate means. I rushed home with that thing and promptly played through the entire game in one sitting. It was better than I ever dreamed of, dude. It was just so real to me, like nothing even compared. Up to that point, the only first-person shooters that I knew were Wolfenstein 3D and Doom, and while those were lots of fun, Duke 3D had so many things I'd never seen in a game. It was a first-person shooter based in the real world, for one thing. I mean, sure, you also shot aliens with shrink rays and explored extraterrestrial spaceports, but all the stuff based on Earth made it feel entirely unique. Movie theaters, restaurants, bake vaults, subway stations, movie sets, all packed with believable detail. Compared to the repetitive corridors of Wolf 3D and the otherworldly hellscapes of Doom, these locations were amazing to me. Not only did the levels feel like real places, but they were also hugely interactive. You could open up cabinets, you could pee in toilets, you could play pool, you could break TVs, you could even... Oh my, tip exotic dancers. <clears throat> so yes, Duke Nukem 3D and Puberty arrived at right about the same time for me, which was fitting because the entire game is an adolescent straight male fantasy. Shoot the aliens, save the babes, simple as that. And coincidentally, once my voice dropped a few octaves, it turned out I could pass off a rather passable impression of Duke Nukem himself. And while there were plenty of other Duke Nukem games that came out after that, they were all on consoles I didn't have until much later on, so I stuck to Duke 3D for years. And I had no problem with that, because the game was hugely replayable, especially with mods. I took trips to this local Barnes & Noble to read everything I could about modifying the game, mostly by diving into the official Duke Nukem 3D level design handbook. I must have read this thing a hundred times once I got my own copy. I just couldn't stop making stuff. I designed my own levels, coded my own objects, created my own textures, recorded my own sound files, you name it, I probably pulled it off or tried my best to do so. My desire to customize the game encouraged me to learn new applications, new programming languages, and develop skills in audio and image editing that laid the foundation for what I do today. To some, Duke Nukem 3D was just a good game with an immature plot. But to me, it was more than that. It became a passion that sparked an interest in creative processes that lasted well into adulthood. So, on this 20th anniversary of the game's release, I just want to thank everyone at 3D Realms that worked on it, as well as the excellent community of Duke fans that has supported the game tirelessly ever since. Without these individuals, I would not be the person I am today. And seeing as I quite enjoy being me these days, thank you. Happy birthday, Duke.
Hi there, did you like this video? Well, I like making it. I hope you liked watching it. And if you did, then watch some of my others if you would like to. You can click these or just subscribe or look around for more videos in the future every Monday and Friday here on LGR. There's also Twitter and Facebook if you want to contact me that way, as well as Patreon if you'd like to do the whole monetary support thing and see videos early and stuff. And as always, thank you for watching.